Hello, welcome to the Fiberglass Reinforced Plastics Institute YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in with us for how to become an FRPI 8310 inspector. The 60 second answer is that to become an FRPI 8310 inspector, it is easy and fairly quick for those that have the knowledge, experience, and capabilities necessary to sit for and pass an exam. All one has to do is simply purchase and read the above ground storage tank inspector certification and licensing manual detailing requirements, go through a credentialing process to demonstrate minimum required personal and employment qualifications, participate in optional courses, pass a written exam, and then receive the inspector certification award. FRPI provides an independent, impartial validation of inspector expertise based on a comprehensive certification scheme that includes a formal application process and reference checks. Getting started is very quick too. The following informative, revealing story provides a roadmap showing what is specifically involved when one goes through the certification program from start to finish and proof for the quality of FRP 8310 inspector credentials that can be earned. Manual. The first step for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector is to purchase the above ground storage tank inspector certification and licensing manual. Let's take a quick look at its content and references, plus how to purchase it and the accompanying inspector packet. Content. This manual is a compilation of five comprehensive standard practices. The first covers the SP8310 Inspector Certification Program details, whereas the remaining four encompass technical information pertinent to FRP materials inspection and testing. These practices include an extraordinary amount of color illustrated technical information that is nowhere else to be found in the world and establish a minimum level of expertise for inspectors. The standard practice 8310 for licensed above ground storage tank inspector certification is broken into four parts. Here is a summary of each part. Part one of four includes purpose and scope, definitions, plus a body of knowledge listing. This listing includes API, ASTM, ASME, and AWWA tank standards covering materials, design, fabrication, plus inspection and tests. Part two of four includes minimum inspection procedures, plus thorough checklists for a tank installation and in-operation inspection, requirements for integrity and leak testing, inspection determinations, plus reports and record keeping are also covered. Guidance is provided for determining tank history, laminate benchmarks, laminate degradation rate calculations, remaining useful life, suitability for continued service, and next inspection interval. Part three of four includes credentialing that will be spoken to in the second step in the inspection certification process, personal and employment requirements, plus the certification exam that is spoken to in the fourth step for inspector certification. Part four of four includes requirements for inspector certification and licensing. These are typical requirements of an ANSI accredited tank inspector certification and licensing program. Guidance in this part of the practice includes logistics, application process, education program, licensing, award, renewal, denial, termination, appeals process, and other general conditions. Several of these elements of the SP8310 certification scheme will be spoken to in the second through fifth step of the inspector certification process. The standard practice 1010 for laminate identification has a lot of key information included that makes classifying different FRP materials nearly as easy as identifying various grades of steel and types of thermoplastic. This practice enables an inspector to verify or determine the composition of tank component laminate designs 
and designate types. A total of 29 color laminating methods and materials photos, a layer illustration with definitions, descriptions of reinforcement characteristics, laminate sequence terms plus resin, cure system, and additive listings help the inspector with laminate identification. Practice parts include purpose and scope, classifications, composition, visual observations, inspection, plus standard practice use. The standard practice 1020 for visual imperfections has a lot of key information included that enables an inspector to easily benchmark original equipment laminate quality related to material performance. A total of 29 defect classifications with color photos, definitions, evidence and causes, laminating vulnerabilities, standards comparison and contrast, plus discussion provided in the practice helps the inspector with this benchmarking process. Practice parts include purpose and scope, laminating, standards and performance, visual and other observations, inspection, plus standard practice use. The standard practice 1030 for damage mechanisms has a lot of key information included that enables an inspector to easily identify laminate degradation. A total of 25 damage mechanism classifications, 51 color damage mechanism photos, definitions, evidence and causes, wear, mechanical, and temperature events, plus discussion provided in the practice helps the inspector with this identification. Practice parts include purpose and scope, normal aging process, visual and other observations, inspection, plus standard practice use. And the final standard practice 1040 for integrity and leak testing has a lot of key information included that enables an inspector to simply select appropriate test methods given laminate composition, visual imperfections, damage mechanisms, and other criteria observed. A total of 15 traditional, new, and proprietary test methods with descriptions, advantages and disadvantages, plus limitations of each, are provided in the practice to help the inspector with the selection process. Practice parts include purpose and scope, flaw definitions, a basic inspection hand tools listing, testing technologies, inspection, plus standard practice use. References The manual and the FRPI 8310 inspector certification scheme contained within it are original content with an abundance of subject matters that substantially exceed and expand on topics presented in 20 referenced publications summarized here. These other publications were reviewed and compared to the manual content in order to assure its consistency with relevant portions of prior works. The manual also addresses advances in technology, updates, errors, and critical omissions in the referenced publications. Prior publications include industry consensus standards, industry organization works, plus private books and other related works. A correlation between the technical standard practices just introduced and publications referenced are illustrated in this chart, showing the majority of common subject matters center around damage mechanisms plus integrity and leak testing. Purchase Each FRPI 8310 inspector candidate is required to personally own a copy of the manual. Owning a manual is also a prerequisite for each participant in tank inspector courses. The manual can be purchased through TechStreet, FRPI's exclusive worldwide standards distributor. The price for one manual reflects that it's a compilation of five comprehensive standard practices. A substantial manual multi-user discount is also available and drastically reduces manual cost if more than one person may be participating in the FRPI 8310 program from a given company. When buying the manual, simply determine the number of copies needed. Then, click the manual's image on the FRPI website resource center, check out purchase tips, 
click the AST Inspector Certification and Licensing Manual link, land on the Tech Street Store website, click Add to Cart for discounts available, and then enter your order. Inspector Packet Once the manual order is placed, the inspector packet will be emailed separately. The packet includes credentialing and exam seat applications, license agreements, a schedule for all pertinent fees, plus a checklist that helps guide candidate efforts in becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector. Credentialing The second step for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector is to go through a credentialing process involving self-assessment and FRPI qualifications acceptance. This is a very important step as credentials are a public testament to an individual's expertise and represent a significant portion of the value a FRPI 8310 inspector represents. To become a certified inspector, one must demonstrate a reasonable amount of experience with and expertise when performing FRP tank condition assessment. Let's look at how to self-assess expertise and inspector development stages for those that may be less experienced with FRP tanks. Then, run through what is involved with the application submittal, plus undergoing FRPI review and acceptance. Self-assess expertise. To get started, first review the manual, body of knowledge, and inspector packet received. Then review personal requirements per SP 8310, where experience is quantified by expertise class and minimum current active experience. To determine the expertise class, Simply choose a formal education and corresponding experience level that can be demonstrated. Allowable experience for each class includes cumulative skills development over the past five years while employed in the areas of design, manufacturing, quality control, installation, operation, condition assessment, repair, alteration, and or reconstruction of FRP tanks. Up to 75% of these experience hours may be demonstrated through work performed on steel tanks as a currently active API 653 authorized inspector who is officially performing work under the API 653 tank inspection, repair, alteration, and reconstruction standard. To determine minimum current active experience, one shall have been supporting, performing, and or supervising tank inspections per practices such as SP 8310 for 10% of their time, or a minimum of 12 tanks over the most recent past year. Credit is also given for experience inspecting liquid and air handling process vessels. References for all experience claimed are required. Next, review employment requirements per SP 8310. Individuals who are unemployed can earn SP 8310 certification. However, Employment is required in order to claim SP8310 compliance when using the FRPI certified mark. Candidate inspectors can be direct or contract employees working full or part-time. Employment types permitted are tank owners, inspection and testing companies, engineering firms, manufacturers, federal and state government, insurance providers, plus intermediaries. Finally, Decide if it appears as though one meets or exceeds SP8310 requirements. If yes, file an application for credentialing and then take the exam. Or participate in optional courses prior to the exam. If no, participate in optional courses, gain needed experience related to expertise class and or current active experience, file an application for credentialing, and then take the exam. Inspector Development Stages If a candidate is not quite ready to apply for credentialing just yet, the obvious thing to do is to build the knowledge base and gain experience over four stages. To get the experience clock ticking the fastest, be sure to read the comprehensive manual, participate in a one-day FRP 302 or four-day FRP 831 inspection course, and apply the technical concepts learned as soon as possible. Simply getting to stage one by reading the manual straight away will provide any inspector with a broader and deeper knowledge, plus more thorough and structured approach to making sound inspection determinations needed. As time flies, stage four will be completed before one knows it. 
Nearly anyone with the manual knowledge under their belt will be able to perform daily and annual tank inspections often required under law with increased confidence. In time, qualifications will be developed for the more critical five-year inspection intervals justifiably mandated to be performed by Stage 4 inspectors. FRPI offers three tracks for inspector credentialing development. Track 1 for junior inspectors, Track 2 registered inspectors in training, or RITs, and Track 3 FRPI 8310 inspectors. This sheet with inspector certification tracks illustrated can be downloaded off the FRPI website seminars page. Tracks 1 and 2 are recommended for inspectors who are working to develop fiberglass tank inspection experience required to become an FRPI 8310 inspector, where Track 2 offers RITs more knowledge building and a higher level of credentialing over Track 1 junior inspectors. This RIT classification is kind of like an engineer in training or EIT classification is to a licensed professional engineer or PE. It's designed to provide inspectors with little to no fiberglass materials experience, credit for specific knowledge, capabilities and commitment, options for developing fiberglass inspection experience, plus a path to credentialing as a FRPI 8310 inspector. This RIT program involves a simple three-step process that puts a third-party vetted RIT Credentials ID card in the inspector's hand as evidence for a Track 2 level of expertise achieved. Application Submittal If a candidate has the required personal and employment qualifications for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector, submitting the application should be easy and may take less than a day or so to complete. Personal qualifications evidence to submit is name and contact information, experience class applied for, proof of education declared, plus a detailed summary of class-related and current active experience. Employment qualifications evidence to submit is employer type, company name and contact information, disclosure of integrity and leak testing ability, proof for a minimum of five years employer inspection expertise, commercial capabilities information, plus a personal employment verification letter. A candidate acknowledgement signature is also required. The application is formatted as a Microsoft Word fillable form, where only the English language is permitted. FRPI Review and Acceptance Once the application is received, personal employment qualifications go under review. Then, reference checks are made to verify past employment and current active experience claimed. This is followed by background research and an optional live candidate discussion. Once this work is completed, and FRPI presumably reaches a determination that the candidate is qualified, then the candidate is notified that their qualifications have been accepted and they are permitted to sit for the certification exam. Optional Courses the third step for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector is to participate in optional courses. Courses are conducted in the FRPI Training and Demonstration Theater with a maximum of 12 participants per one instructional leader. The 120-inch projection screen with stereo sound, supplemented by dozens of hands-on demonstrations integrating actual production materials, laminate cutouts and runouts, specimens extracted from equipment taken out of service, laboratory test remains, plus inspection tools, provides for a tremendously interactive learning involvement. Let's see what content is available and the instructional leader bio looks like. Then, run through what is involved with registration and the completion certificate. Content. A couple of courses are offered for FRPI 8310 inspector candidates, with the manual presented earlier required as a prerequisite. The first is a primer for the inspector certification exam and is a four-day course titled FRP 831 Field Inspection of Above Ground Storage Tanks. The second is a single-day condensed version of the FRP 831 course and is titled FRP 302 Introduction to Inspection of Above Ground Storage Tanks. Both courses follow a detailed syllabus available online. Plus, include a written program evaluation and third-party vetted course delivery 
by the Registered Continuing Education Program Organization, or RCEP. This RCEP recognition provides validated continuing education credit for participating licensed professional engineers. Instructional Leader Bio Gary Arthur, the FRPI founder and president, is the instructor for these courses. His family is a second generation FRP industry manufacturer since the mid 1950s. Gary's first shop floor assignment was in 1973 and his professional career started in 1987. He has spent 15 years in manufacturing plus over 15 years in consulting. As a hands-on business owner and executive for over 30 years, Gary has been involved in all aspects of most FRP equipment from cradle to grave. He has a very diverse application experience base in multiple industries, plus has been managing and performing field services since 1988. Gary conducted the largest industry-wide FRP equipment failure study in 1991 worked with his brother to receive the first ASME pressure vessel accreditation stamp 001 in 1993 and was issued a Certified Composites Technician Award by Composite Fabricators Association in 2001. Through his work with FRPI, he has also been performing SP9000 and SP9100 audits since 2003, plus participated in well over 1,000 hours of FRP continuing education. Gary is acclaimed to be an industry subject matter expert by many. A copy of his bio is available online. Registration. Courses are open to all FRPI 8310 inspector candidates and others. Early bird discounts are available. To register, simply click the more info link for the course and date of interest on the FRPI website seminars page. Land on the Eventbrite store website, enter the quantity of course tickets desired, click register, and then enter the order. Completion Certificate. Immediately upon finishing the FRP 831 or FRP 302 course, an official certificate of completion is issued to participants disclosing the course title plus date and number of hours of education achieved. Licensed professional engineers who completed the course are also posted to the RCEP website and a second certificate of completion is issued verifying this registration. Exam. The fourth step for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector is to sit for and pass the exam. This is also a very important step. Measures have been taken to uphold and protect the value of credentials the exam is intended to qualify as a public testament to the inspector's special market expertise. Assuring the quality and integrity of the exam experience is of the highest priority. Let's review the exam scope and score required for inspector certification, then run through what is involved with the registration and security. Scope and Score The quality of the exam itself largely results from the relevant and legally defensible questions that make up the exam content, which covers the body of knowledge and FRP 831 lessons centered on the knowledge base that was developed following a relevant job analysis. There is both a closed and open book exam, including a total of 160 questions. A seven hour completion time is allowed for both exams and the passing score is 75%. Exam participants are permitted up to three separate attempts to pass the exam, and the exam is only conducted in the English language. Participants are provided their results within two weeks after taking the exam. Registration. Written acceptance of FRP 8310 inspector candidate credentials are required in order to sit for the exam. To register, simply fill out and submit the application for exam seat registration. Applicants are required to provide contact information, answers to a few exam seat qualification questions, a choice of preferred and second choice exam seat dates, plus an acknowledgement signature. The application is formatted as a Microsoft Word fillable form, where only the English language is permitted. 
Exams are typically scheduled on the Friday following the FRP 831 course. Security. A secure exam environment is provided. Protecting against disingenuous and proxy test takers is of high importance. Strict check-in and check-out procedures are to be followed. Proactive prevention of exam item and answer harvesting is also a high priority. Upon arrival, FRPI will provide scratch paper, pencil, and calculator, plus inspect open book references for any disallowed markings, and manual to assure an appropriate license stamp naming the exam participant is included. Open book references are not to be written in, and personal items will be locked up in a security bag upon arrival. Proctored unique exams will be distributed among participants. There will be controlled communications, limited question periods, scheduled breaks, and security cameras. All exams will be immediately collected upon completion, and open book references are subject to inspection upon candidate departure. Award The fifth and final step for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector is to receive the Inspector Certification Award. It's a badge. Let's look at what all is involved with certification mark use, resource materials, renewal periods, and other benefits. Certification mark use. The value of the FRPI 8310 inspector credentials is symbolized by the FRPI certification mark. It is intended to be a symbol of excellence that is supported by licensing with typical rights and responsibilities of use, plus registration maintenance. The mark as a symbol of excellence is displayed on badges awarded as a means to communicate demonstrated inspector competency, plus on installation and in-operation checklists to represent inspection quality. Licensing is an important element for the validity of mark use, where licenses are provided for both the inspector and the inspector's employer. The inspector's license is a required element of becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector. The inspector license agreement provides for individual certification as opposed to employer certification, portability of the inspector's certification between employers, plus mark use as a symbol of inspector competency and inspection quality. An inspector also receives free Class C membership benefits. The inspector's employer license is an optional inspector agreement rider. The employer license agreement provides for the employer's mark use as a marketing tool to advertise their employing FRPI 8310 inspectors, plus their company's competency and quality of inspection services offered by virtue of these certified inspectors. An employer also receives a free website listing and Class G membership benefits. Certain rights and responsibilities come with any license, where the typical licensing objective is to help uphold the value that the mark represents. Agreement expectations include where and when the mark can be displayed, how to display the mark, mark protection, restrictions on mark use, plus licensee representations when using the mark. Certification mark registration maintenance is also an important aspect for the quality of credentials displayed by both the inspector and their employer. FRPI maintains a computerized process for effectively managing participation in the SP8310 program. From initial manual purchase through inspector certification plus inspector and employer licensing to renewals. Resource materials. Upon FRPI 8310 inspector certification award, intellectual property in the form of FRPI logos and certification marks, plus inspection checklists are issued. Checklists are formatted as Microsoft Word fillable forms and function on all devices. Renewal periods. FRPI 8310 inspector certification is valid for three years. It is recommended to renew at least two months prior to certification expiration. To renew, simply submit an application and be in good standing. The application needs to demonstrate a minimum amount of current active experience in the area of support, performance, and or supervision of tank inspection activities performed under the SP8310 program. The measurement period for this experience is the most recent past three years. 
where the inspector is to have spent a minimum 20% of their time performing this work or inspected a minimum of 75 tanks. Given the failure modes for FRP tanks, 40% of the time spent or tanks inspected are to involve internal inspections. Credit is also given for experience inspecting liquid and air handling process vessels. References for all experience claimed are required. As with initial inspector certification, employment is only required in order to claim SP8310 compliance when using the FRPI certified mark. A total 24 hours of continuing education is also required to be completed at FRPI approved venues and the inspector is to own a current manual describing the body of knowledge that they're responsible for. Passing an exam is required if the inspector has not met the experience requirements for renewal and once every six years to demonstrate comprehension of the current body of knowledge at that time. Inspector and employer licenses are valid for one year. These licenses are to be renewed annually for membership maintenance and an employment check. Other benefits. An exciting aspect of being an FRPI 8310 inspector is there are many other personal and business related benefits. FRPI offers a variety of continuing education opportunities, provides 14 coaching services, and makes inspector referrals. In addition, FRPI conducts website traffic builder advertising campaigns to draw attention to inspector listings and writes specifications invoking SP8310 requirements. An FRPI 8310 inspector also earns credentialing as a certified SP8210 tank and vessel installation inspector. These inspectors are authorized to provide inspection support for FRPI SP9000 certified manufacturers providing SP9100 certified equipment. Other future benefits include add-on inspector qualification practices that are coming for source, piping system, and field joint inspection. And last but not least, watch the YouTube video, Why Employ FRPI 8310 Inspectors? Benefits elaborated on in this video stem from utilizing certified inspectors to address inspection laws, validate company leadership, improve inspection results, and capture business opportunities. FRPI 8310 Inspector Qualification is more than just an inspector registration number like other industry programs. It's the industry best practice for FRP tank inspection. Getting started. Whether you are an expert FRP tank inspector or less experienced in working towards meeting minimum requirements for becoming an FRPI 8310 inspector, simply purchasing the manual, receiving the inspector packet, and pursuing the checklist is how you get started. Please be sure to plan a minimum of 7 to 12 weeks from the day you purchase the manual to the date of certification award. There you have it. That's how to become an FRPI 8310 inspector. Thank you again for your interest in tuning in with us. We hope to see you reading the manual and getting your applications in soon, so you can get to leveraging the success of this program for you, your operations, and those you serve.